Hey everybody, this is Chris Becker with the Phoenix Group. I'm here with Bill John today and we are going to demonstrate a system for doing a commercial industrial concrete overlay system. We're going to be featuring a couple different products here. The first one is our Sherbro. Uh, this material is a single component product. It's just add with water. Um, this will develop 6100 PSI. That's going to give us uh, the kind of strength and durability and tenacious bonding that we need in an environment like this. This is a ready mix plant in Minneapolis. So we've got everything from heavy equipment, which you can see over here. We've got freeze thaw. Uh, this is as tough as it gets. So we want to show you how this product is going to last over time. Now the companion products that we're going to be using, we're going to be using the TK9030. This is a two component crack repair material. As you can see, we've got some cracks in this slab. Um, if you were just to go over that with this material, it would hold for a while, but then it would open back up. So we're gonna nail this with the 9030 to make sure it is solid and structural. The flash patch is another product that can be used if you have some really deep patches. So if we were gonna get into anything like this, which we wouldn't today, this would be the material you'd put down first to fill in those deep uh, deteriorated areas. So our process is gonna be, we're gonna saw cut open the cracks. We're gonna blow those out. We're gonna put in our 9030, that's gonna dry really quickly. So we'll be able to put that down, let it dry up in about a half hour to an hour. And then we're gonna come back and power wash this entire surface. We're gonna use the Surecrete SCR, which is gonna lightly etch this surface. Although it's got quite a bit of profile on it, we wanna make sure it's good and clean. And once we've got that neutralized, we're gonna come back with our first coat of Sherbrum. So stay tuned and watch all the action. Step one in our process is to protect the adjacent surface around our concrete slab that we're going to sherb room. This will allow us to make sure that the surfaces not to be finished uh, are kept clean and provides us an area to uh, clean off our broom, which will be an important part during the actual finishing process. Next up, we're going to open up all the concrete cracks to repair our crack repair material. All right, this product is 9030. 9030 is a hybrid polyurea, fast setting material. We're going to use the cartridge style. We also make this in bulk. But the cartridge, you take it out of the package, you want to save the package for a moment. Open up the tube. Take off this little tab here that's holding it down. Take the plug out of the end. Very important thing next is this little flow restrictor. This has to go in there or the material will not mix properly. Goes right there. Put the static tube over the top of that. Put the nut back on. Open up your cartridge gun. Bring the flow back to the tip of the, of the static mixer. Very important so that it, you get it so that the tubes are leveled off. Take the bag that you saved. Squirt just the first squirt or two into the bag and keep your tip on it and you're ready to go i'm gonna wet it out we put some sand in you have to keep pressure on the on the cartridge gun or the flow won't be accurate never let it dribble out once the cracks are completely filled to the surface, we're going to allow this material to soak in and harden. It shouldn't take very long. On this particular day, it was 80 degrees, and within about 20 minutes, we were on the grinder. So this next step is really important to make sure that you have a nice, smooth, consistent surface from your repair that won't reflect through the Sherbrooke. All right, everybody. So you can see here that we've got this crack repair done. 
Uh, this 9030 is, is just awesome material. That took all of about 10 minutes to get this hard, where we actually ground it down and we got it smooth. So when you're doing an overlay over a crack repair material, it's really important that after you put that material down that you scrape it down and you don't leave any on the surface. We don't want to have any lumps. We don't want to have any imperfections there. So now this is nice and smooth and our two coats of Sherbrum are definitely going to cover this up. The next step in our process is surface prep. Since this is an old pitted concrete slab, we don't need to do any heavy mechanical grinding or blasting. So we're going to treat this surface with Surecrete's SCR. This is a three in one concrete cleaner, degreaser and etcher. We're going to mix it with two parts water to two, one part concentrate, spray it over the dampened surface and then work it in with a stiff broom. This is really going to break loose any dirt and contaminants that are on this slab uh, prior to pressure washing. So once the material is worked in, we're going to break out the pressure washer and get all of that residue cleaned off and neutralized. It's very important to do this thoroughly so there's no residue left on the surface. While you're doing the process, you'll actually notice that uh, the concrete will become significantly more clean. And this is very important for the Sherbroom product to bond properly. All right, so we've got all our surface prep done and uh, we do have an area along this control joint where there was quite a bit of uh, deterioration, probably from salt. Um, the Sherb room is not intended to uh, fix anything quite that deep, so what we're going to do is pick up our flash patch. This 50 pound bag is mixed with about four to four and a half quarts of water. Uh, it's very little water to get this stuff to be in the right consistency. So we've got a small amount of water in here, and we're going to manually add our product in um, and use a mixing drill and a mixing paddle. You always want to add powder to water, not the other way. Mix the material for about one minute to produce a lump-free, smooth consistency, and then you're ready to apply. All right, so we've got uh, product mixed up, and it's uh, not real thick, but uh, this will dry up quickly. And we've lightly dampened the, uh, the area that we're going to uh, repair just so it can uh, have a nice bite. And we're going to come back later and clean up the edge so it's nice and straight after we're done. Within a few minutes of putting your material down in the area to be repaired, it will start to take a little shape, which is the perfect time to run a trowel over the surface to shape it and smooth it out to make sure you get a nice consistent look prior to your next step of applying the Sherbroom. For the base coat, we're mixing four and a half quarts of water with one 50 pound bag of Sherbroom. You'll need a variable speed mixer with a mixing paddle and a five gallon bucket. Make sure that you mix thoroughly for a smooth lump free consistency and don't forget to scrape down the edges of the bucket uh, before you pour it out. When applying your base coat of Sherbroom, it's important that the concrete surface is lightly damp. In this case, we're using a squeegee or a magic trawl to get this material put down efficiently with a nice, smooth, uniform thickness. Um, this is going to be uh, vital to covering up any of the pitting and scaling on the slab and set up the broom finish to be uh, smooth and uniform. Once your base coat is dry, it's a great time to go through and clean out any of the joints and edges with the material that may have flowed into those areas. You can also come through with a scraper and take care of any ridges or edges from your base coat that you don't want to have showing through your finish coat. Okay, now we're ready to do our second coat down. We've got this uh, area is dry. We've uh, cleaned it off. We've taken off the high spots. Uh, for the second coat, now we're gonna actually do six quarts of water instead of four and a half. So we'll put four quarts in, we'll put the bag in, and then we'll add two more, and that's gonna give us the nice uh, consistency for a broom finish. Just like we did on the base coat, we're gonna lightly saturate the surface of our base coat with water, and then apply the Sure Broom. Once again, it's important that you have one technician that's spreading the material out in a very thin, uniform application, and a second technician that's simply doing all of the brooming, with the third technician handling mixing and spraying the surface with water. As a team, you can see that this process goes quite quickly and uh, produces a very nice, consistent result.
Final step in our process is to seal the surface. So after letting the Sherb room dry overnight, we are going to apply the TK Bright Glaze, which is a solvent-based high solids acrylic sealer. As you can see, the surface of our Sherb room finish is dry. So we are simply just going to apply this material by roller. It is a heavy bodied high solids acrylic sealer. So generally we like to roll these products down or at a minimum spray and back roll. Just get a nice uniform coat on and on a nice warm day like this, you'll see that it's going to dry up um, very quickly and be ready for traffic uh, typically within eight to 12 hours. So if it's a residential or a commercial application, when we say Sherb Room is tough, we mean it. This product is gonna be a fantastic way to expand your business and offer a whole new way to beautify concrete.